Will they be our partners or our replacements? Where will we see Tesla's Optimus bots working in the future? Let's explore with us. Are robots about to steal your job? Tesla's Optimus bot Gen 2 promises a revolution in automation, but what does it mean for the future of work? We'll explore how robots are redefining the workplace, from factory lines to your own home. Can humans and machines coexist, or are we headed for a robot takeover? To find out, stay with us till the end of the video. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe it. Also hit the bell icon so you will never miss any update in future. Let's dive into the video. Robots have been around for over 2,000 years, with the first humanoid robots built in the 1920s. Isaac Asimov invented the term robotics to study robots. Despite advancements in technology, robots have not made much progress in the real world. With advancements in artificial intelligence, it is likely that humanity will revisit the idea of a humanoid robot. Both fields will evolve in parallel as advanced robots require considering artificial intelligence. Intelligent robots are poised to change the world quickly, and most of us will see them in our lifetimes. How did robots first emerge and develop? Robots may appear to be an ordinary aspect of human existence. This word is frequently used, however, not in reference to artificial intelligence replicas of ourselves. They are widely used by a number of businesses to carry out specific activities that people don't want to or aren't good at. They work on contemporary manufacturing lines in the automotive sector, assembling components and assisting in the creation of our vehicles. Because industrial robots can execute repetitive tasks with greater precision than humans and without becoming fatigued or distracted, specialized labor was one of the earliest applications for these machines. As a result, the outcomes are more consistent, which enhances the impression of build quality. These robots are limited to what they are trained to accomplish and are incapable of gaining awareness, despite a few unfortunate human robot encounters involving our guys. Some robots have the ability to move autonomously or automatically in addition to the robotic arms that move objects about a production floor. Vacuum robots are perhaps the most commonplace they can map your property and determine the most efficient way to clean it from top to bottom. Many factories use similar robots to move materials. Humanoid robots, characterized by controlled environments and specialized tasks, are increasingly used in various fields such as the military, healthcare, and research. Tesla, a leading company in the humanoid robot race, has made significant progress in developing its Optimus bot, which has reached the second generation in 2023. Despite initial skepticism, Tesla's rapid development pace has led experts to believe it may be ahead of other startups in this field. Musk recently clarified that, in a few years, Optimus might develop into a highly sophisticated home appliance. I'm not really convinced about this viewpoint. It's rare for new technologies to appear in kitchens. Usually they begin in top-secret military laboratories, grow up to the industrial level at global super corporations, and only become consumer items when the possibilities for the first two use cases are fully realized. It's more likely that Tesla will be the first to use the Optimus robots before leasing them to other businesses and military forces across the globe. The same thing happened with Starlink satellite internet. However, Tesla also made it available to private users in order to raise funds for the satellite's installation. However, Tesla has an additional need to have humanoid robots. At some time, Elon Musk hopes to colonize Mars, and at least initially it would be challenging to do so with humans. Optimus is the ideal Martian from this perspective. Tesla uses the same inference computers even if their expectations for Optimus performance are different from those of a Tesla electric vehicle. It's no secret that Elon Musk believes that the creation of the Optimus bot depends on FSD's success. Ultimately, a humanoid robot deserving of this moniker would not exist were it not equipped with artificial intelligence Tesla is now marketing itself as an AI robotics firm rather than an automaker after making major moves to increase its eye footprint. Optimus is able to learn from its interactions with people and the environment, as demonstrated by the movies that Tesla released last year. This is similar to how FSD beta gets better over time from watching many hours of driving videos. Optimus's current tactics are no smarter than FSD dodging a pedestrian. Though neither of them is aware of the logic underlying these behaviors, they respond in this way because they were trained to do so using real-world data. This implies that Optimus and FSD are not intelligent. Only when people start to reason will the true revolution begin. Only until they develop language that enabled them to converse and teach others what they had learnt, saving them from having to start from scratch, 
were humans able to set themselves apart from other animals. That would also be the Homo sapiens moment for robots. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, is the future that everyone fears. Tesla plans to power its Optimus robots with 4,680 cells, despite concerns about their efficiency. The robot requires 12 cells connected in series to reach the necessary voltage using NCM chemistry, assuming a 48-volt electrical system. Tesla may increase the voltage to make Optimus more effective, but 48 volts is not a fixed amount. The battery pack requires redundancy, and Tesla suggests 10 48-volt modules connected in parallel for 2.3 kilowatts per hour capacity. For Optimus to be effective, it needs enough battery to last for 8 hours with 15 to 20 minutes of charging sessions. Tesla plans to keep an extra Optimus on hand for any openings. Humanoid robot development is primarily driven by business needs rather than wild sci-fi fantasies. The reason for this is that their humanoid traits enable them to supplant humans in a world designed just for them. That's why humanoid robots are perfect for jobs that require a lot of repetition, are hazardous or both. They can also guarantee a constant caliber of work because they are not impacted by illness, exhaustion, or simply having a terrible day. For this reason, the robots are portrayed primarily as problem solvers who deal with situations like labor shortages. Robots are able to function in any environment and perform tasks that people typically avoid. They also significantly boost productivity, which encourages businesses to employ more robots rather than people. There are numerous drawbacks to robots, including increased risks and apprehension among humans that they may eventually replace them. Indeed, they are more capable of working hard than humans and can relieve them of a lot of responsibilities. However, this will imply that fewer people are required to perform these tasks, and finding work will quickly become difficult. Because of the potential for societal instability, this causes more issues than the robots are supposed to address. People won't need to work anymore unless they genuinely want to, according to what Elon Musk once stated. As there won't be any jobs left for them, they might not be able to work even when they want to. This begs the question of how people might continue to be relevant and lead fulfilling lives even after they are no longer required. A new distribution of wealth is also necessary for the robot revolution, since most people would struggle to make ends meet. As you can see, there are real situations where the widespread use of robots poses a threat to the normal person. I don't want to talk about more fantastical scenarios like a rebellion of robots. There are legitimate worries that artificial intelligence may grow to be an unstoppable force that ends up eradicating humans. In such a scenario, humanoid robots won't be required to do the work. All the same, as we have learned from literature and films, they will make it much simpler to battle with us in a traditional manner. According to Elon Musk, the Optimus bot could end up being more important than Tesla's auto industry. This is largely consistent with his remarks regarding Tesla's fully autonomous driving system. Given that the Optimus program also depends on the latter, it is far more important. Musk was more forthright because of this, it might make a ruined Tesla. Optimus would be nothing more than a bright metal toy without FSD. Not simply as a commercial product, but as a virtual endless potential asset for Tesla. Optimus bots will surely be used by Tesla in its production lines, in the mineral mines, and maybe in any other activity that currently requires human labor. We shall soon witness a totally different society one that we will no longer recognize, as there is really nothing that an intelligent robot could not achieve. Like cars, if Tesla gets its way, there may be no sales of the robots at all. When Tesla cracks FSD, the cars will be worth more when they are deployed as robot taxes. There are no incentives for Tesla to sell the robots they will do their duties as a service as well. Even if it succeeds, only the largest firms will be able to afford the prices. Tesla's Optimus Bot Gen 2 is just the beginning. As robots become more sophisticated, the line between human and machine will continue to blur. Are you ready for a future where robots are your co-workers, or even your bosses? We'll be keeping a close eye on developments in robotics, so stay tuned to see where this robot revolution takes us all. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know in the comments what kind of jobs you think robots will take over first. Thanks for watching.